everyone, she can hook on here reporting for the festival. So last time we are driving the Mustang RTR Spec 5, which is I have kind of mixed feeling to be honest. But then again, it's just one of those stuff that you know I want it to be perfect, but apparently it's not enough due to the fact that I already have a better one for performance wise. So, you know what, let's just slow down a little bit and have a like the cars like this Lotus. And well, speaking of Lotus, I don't think I even showcased one yet. <laughs> I mean, all this time, I don't even uh, show a single Lotus on my channel, so that's a strange one. But... I actually love Lotus, that's for sure. I mean, they're not fast, but they're like and fun. I mean, that's the reason why Lotus are popular, because they're a lightweight car, and they're really sporty to drive. And also they made by... Well, well... <clears throat> I cannot speak. Also they made in UK, so... You know, I should feature it a lot sooner but yeah a bit late for that so right this is the lotus alice from 1999 and this one is a track focused one i believe so let me have a quick look here hello there yep this is the 1999 lotus alice series one sport 190 i honestly don't know what the history of this car but it seems like a track focus car you know so that's the thing. Uh, let me have a look on the car list real quick here. Well, it's count as retro sports car. And well, this is the paint job that it comes with when you win one of the seasonal event. Uh, well, this car is really strong on the handling, to be honest. But I haven't tuned it properly, so I don't know. I mean, I tuned it. I tuned some of it, but still not enough. So starting from the conversion, yeah, we use the 3.2 liter inline six. So it's not even the stock engine. I'm pretty sure the stock engine is an inline four. I want to use the stock engine, but it won't reach the top of S1 class. So yeah, there is that. Uh, also, I keep it naturally aspirated. I mean, I could use the single turbo again, but well, it's already enough with the inline 6 you know so you have the option to put on the aero kit but you know it kind of ruins the look of this cute little car <laughs> i kind of like the the at least look you know uh right for the tire obviously race tire the front has 235 which is not big but for a small car like this it's pretty big and frame has 255 so it's 20 millimeter difference from the front which is kind of good i guess and i pull the tire as far as possible and it also has a built-in roll cage it seems because it it it's not what i'm i did on the car because you, you don't have the option to put on the roll cage it's already there but you do have this to the option to like reduce it so but it doesn't do much because it's just reduced 100 pounds but then again if you want the lightest car possible you might want to do this everything else is everything else here is race spec already so it's always a good thing also drive is already maxed out obviously so for the engine, I believe I put as much as possible. Okay, I have the stock intake. Uh, race intake manifold. The stock fuel system. Stock ignition. Race exhaust. Race cam and valves. Race valves. Stock engine block. Race pistons. Race oil cooling. And of course, stock flywheel again. Why? Just why? 
I want my race flywheel. But I can't put it on, damn it. So you know what? Let's just go on to a race, shall we? Alright, welcome to the Ambleside Sprint. So well it's raining, so I'm a little bit afraid, but hopefully this car can handle it. But from testing wise, this car well accelerates really fast because Alright. No. And it handled it handled really well as well. So that's always a plus point for a car like this. So in a handling track like this, it can get away, but when it comes to speed, it only reaches 190. I haven't mentioned that track. So yeah, if you want something good for handling. This is, this is pretty much the car that you want to get. I mean, you can get the Alice 111 S, which well, almost the same, but it's slower. Okay, it under steer apparently. <laughs> Interesting. Come on. Well, it only understands you being an idiot, I guess. I'm obviously like so. Because this car is actually pretty good on handling. I'm going to keep repeating that because it is good. But since it's wet, I'm kinda not sure what luck it takes actually. You can keep your third gear. And, well. I just accelerate like that, of course. Oh, okay. It's not as flattered as I thought it would be, but it's not bad. That's for sure. I mean, handling-wise, this car is quite strong. But well, when it comes to top speed, it only reaches 190 because, and that is so low for. S1 class. In fact, that's really close to A class top speed. Just 10 miles less, and you get defeated by a bone shaker. <laughs> yeah, you need 100 more p. You need 100 pi more than the bone shaker to defeat him with this thing. <laughs> yeah, but then again, it doesn't have the top end. So you know, let's just go to the next race. Alright, I decided to do the Colossus for today because. Well, I want to see how it dealt with on the top speed side because, well, as you can see here, it only reached 190.5 miles per hour, which is not very fast. But then again, it's a handling car, so yeah. Let's see what we can do here. Oh god, that guy has the four rotor. <laughs> That is really loud. Uh, there is uh, an SSR GT. Well, it's called the NSXR GT. Maybe I should review that as well. And it comes really well. Just to be careful because it seems like it has a tendency to go over the if you put too much. Photo on it. But it can dive into the corner really good. It's so light. You just stop. Maybe not that. <laughs> I screwed that one up actually, but. Well. Yeah, a bit of drifting action there. <laughs> because I'm an idiot, but you can keep its speed rather easily and then accelerate out of the corner really fast with this thing. Yes, keep in mind you keep the tr your throttle under control or the steering under control because if you steer too much, it will go 
although they often steer mode very easily. So we're already reaching 180 and it's kind of hard to reach 190 still, but we're getting that. But we're catching up on the, on the corner like so, but on the strike, it won't catch up at all because it doesn't have enough top hand. I mean, shorter strike would be nice for this car, but a long strike like this, this car is couldn't get up at all. I wonder how it feels with this. Uh, we're fighting a wave like car so, and I messed up the corner really badly now. And yeah, once I messed it up, I cannot even catch up with the GTR. I'll just do the Arctic thing too. I'm not sure. Oh, come on. Don't stop me like that. I'm mean, sure it's kinda a bit faster, but it can get out of control if I try to go into a corner with a like so. Yeah, this thing doesn't have enough hope speed. <laughs> and it's kinda slithers, surprisingly. I mean, the 111S one, one, one doesn't slither like that. But yeah, this thing <laughs> cannot catch up on the strike line like this. It's just sad, actually. And well, only have six speed. Only have four more speed on the gear. Come on! Oh, we can catch up. Damn it. They just pull away rather easily from here because this is the more on the power one. Ooh, God. This thing is quite sensitive. Yep, it is really sensitive if you're not careful. Oh yeah, that's that's just stupid. <laughs> and yes, the AI time to move me back. <laughs> but yeah, that was a stupid move, that's for sure. I won't do that in normal racing unless I don't pay attention. Or I'm intentionally getting angry. Maybe it will happen someday. Yes, maybe. But then again, there's the dancing. Ooh, I went too fast there. Ooh, but went too fast. That was a bad line. Well, it can kind of keep up with the top two driver. Well, the AI, but then again, they're just AI. I'm pretty sure it's a normal race, and someone bring a meta car. They'll just destroy me. Oh yeah, also those GTRs are R34, except for the one used by AI on the fifth position. It's the R32, it seems. Yeah. Yeah, there are more R34 than the R32. But overall, it's not bad. It just doesn't have enough speed. <laughs> and there is a tendency it want to oversteer it rather easily. So I may need to turn the roll bar. Maybe it's too stiff on the rear.